welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get on to today's video just a reminder of how you can support the channel. Please subscribe, please leave comments on all the videos because that really does help but if you want to support the channel uh, further there is a donation page please go to buy me a coffee and leave a donation which is always fantastically helpful keeps the channel keeps the channel moving and allows me to make all of this fresh material but if you want a textbook that contains all the good stuff from the videos please click on the link and buy drink tea and read the paper from lulu.com all of these things really help the channel thank you to all the people that continue to buy this textbook it really is fantastically helpful now let's get on to today's video welcome to the latest video and in this video newsletter what we're going to be talking about today is does statistical process control cost too much yeah so the cost of SPC. So I, I have quite a large presence on uh, YouTube and LinkedIn and one of the things that I like to promote is the use of statistical process control and I, I like to promote the use of statistical process control with a pen and a pencil um, and a piece of paper. Um, low tech, easy to implement, you can do it today, you can try it out, you can see if it works. Within a week you'd know whether it was improving the process or not. It's really simple to do. Yeah, so so that's kind of my standpoint. And I'm often having debates, especially on LinkedIn with people, when they try to enforce too much technology um, because, because they're worried about this. And in one of the conversations, somebody said to me, well, the reason why we don't do this is because process control costs too much. Process control costs too much. Okay, and that kind of triggered the idea of, of the subject of this video. Now let's just think for a second. In every organization, we've got a nice little hierarchy of people you know right from the top person at the top who thinks they know everything um, and then of course down at the bottom what we've actually got is the people that make money we have the money makers the people that stand at the production line every day this thing's flowing here and making money all right now the point about this though this thing right at the bottom here can do two things it can make bucket loads of cash in the positive or if you get it wrong it will waste money in the fastest way ever you know you put a robot in and make the thing faster than fast can be and then the robot starts making defects man alive there'll be rubbish all over the floor in no time at all you can make or break your company with what's going on down the bottom here so here's the question you really want to do process control don't you there is no such thing as process control that costs too much money because the alternative is that your business goes under I mean it just is now okay let's talk about how you should achieve this you should have gone through and this is uh, this is a point I'm going to make about actually how cost-effective SPC really is how should you have arrived at the most wonderful, controlled, predictable process that just chunks away every day, making bucket loads of cash and pleasing the customer? Well, of course, what you will have done, 
you will have done new product introduction. The centerpiece of your new product introduction will either be a DFMEA or a PFMEA. In fact, one followed by the other. This makes sure that you put process controls in. What comes out of this thing? Well, what comes out of this is a control plan. That's what it's for. It's so you go live with process control and from day one, your line makes bucket loads of cash in a totally predictable manner. But of course, what is a control plan? Well, potentially, it's a massive list of process inputs. In fact, not potentially, it should be a massive list of process inputs. Possibly 50, maybe even 80 process inputs. And against each one of them, you will have designed a control. So if you really want control of these things and you want to make money, of course you want to make money and you want it to be defect free and reliable, you will have done this. The best companies in the world know how to do this properly. They don't fill out FMEAs just to turn them into toilet paper. So we end up with an 80 item list of process controls. Okay, now then. How are you going to maintain daily process control? You could, if you wanted to, do a daily check on all 80. And that would work brilliantly. You would definitely have process control. But you tell me, how cost effective is that going to be? How cost effective is that going to be? So that's method one. But you could do something much more intelligent and smarter, and it's this. What you do is you create yourself a single SPC chart that monitors natural process behavior. By the way, it doesn't monitor defect rate. It monitors natural process behavior. In other words, if I do these 80 things, I get this pattern. And of course, if I start to violate some of these 80 things, what will I get? Well, what I'll start to get is a weird pattern. I'll start to get strange results. So here's what I'm doing. I've got 80 controls. I put them in place. Then what I do is I observe the natural behavior and I put the natural behavior on a process control chart. Then I plot a single chart every day. And what's that single chart telling me? Well, if I fall inside my control limits and I show up now obvious patterns, it's telling me these 80 things are all correct. One check for 80 inputs. How cost effective is that? Is that what you want to do? Because what do you do when you get this? When you get this out of control symptom, and it might be two months, three months before you get the symptom, what do you do? You do a controls audit. And that's it. That's, that's your problem solving technique because you've got standard work for how you control the process. When something goes wrong, you just audit what the standard work is and you will find one of those controls are being violated or maybe a couple are being violated. So, cost of SPC. I could check 80 things every day or I could do an SPC chart and then just do an audit when I get an out of the control system. Which one do you think is the most cost effective? And I have to say, by the way, this is what Sony used to do to me. When I managed a production line at Sony, this was pretty much how we worked. 
wasn't quite a control chart. We just had a standard rule at Sony, which was effectively identifying out of control behavior. And my rule was, three TVs in a week, failed the QA test. So I could have two TVs in a week, fail the QA test, that was okay. No, no response. But if I put three TVs in a calendar week, what would Sony do next? They would audit all of my controls and put my process back in control. And that's what we were doing. We weren't checking these things every day. We weren't giving ourselves all the cost of trying to keep control every day and checking all the inputs. That's hard yards. What you do is you, can, you create an output rule. Now, why was the Sony rule so simple? It was because the process was so stable and under control. We'd moved on from something like this because the process was so well organized. But on your journey towards world-class process control, you're gonna need this thing. So you tell me, SPC, is it the expensive way to get control or is it the cheap way to get control? And by the way, finally, don't you want process control? This thing will make bucket loads of money for somebody, whether it's your suppliers because you're throwing material in the bin or it's you because you're giving material to your customers. But either way, this thing's gonna move bucket loads of cash. Don't you want this? This is the cost effective thing to do and this is the cost effective way to do it. Maybe somebody could leave a comment on this video. Can you think of a more cost effective way? because you've got to come up with process control and you've got to come up with a standard way to do it. If you do that with this, you'll make more money.